Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at my time at Portia. This is being developed by Pathia Games and has a plan on a October release of this year. Uh, but we do have a demo that we can try out, which is what we are doing here. That demo is on Steam, which I'll put a link in the description and you can check it out as well. Uh, basically, this game is something very similar to, to something like uh, Stardew Valley or Harvest Moon, that kind of thing, where we are some guy who has just traveled to this new town. We've inherited a, uh, a workshop where we can build some things, sort of like a blacksmith sort of thing, and uh, we just sort of live in the town and, and make our way through the town. We can get married, we can go mining, we can hunt things, we can fight things, that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and get in here, though, and try it out. First off, we will, we will make our guy. We'll set up our uh, the look of our guy and name ourselves, and then we'll get a little bit of a, an intro thing. So let's get in here. We can change a few things. This is still a very, very early alpha build of the game, and so there's not a ton we can do, but we can have green hair, and green hair is okay. What about, what if we do, like, uh, can we come in here and um, make it? We can, we can even do, like, green and red and something crazy like that. That's okay. That's fine. No face types just yet. We can change skin colors. We can even be like, um, very like sunburned, or uh, we can be a blue man. There's all kinds of things we can do here. Uh, so yeah, we can um, we can stand out. We can be blue. Um, and then what else do we have? Oh, we can actually change all of this as well. We're concerned about things. Yeah, all kinds of things we can change here. Uh, but uh, we're not gonna worry about that. So that's fine. Oh, eye color too. Brow color, lip color. Oh, look at that. Okay. We're a strange looking man. So we're gonna get a little video here and, and it'll explain and show uh, our arrival to our new town. So there is a setting here. I guess I, guess I should explain. This is like a post-apocalyptic thing where there was an apocalypse a long time ago. And uh, we've sort of, humans have rebuilt, but there's not a ton of humans around. And uh, we're traveling here. Uh, we'll, we'll see that why in a minute, but you can see sort of in the background there's a bunch of ruins, and it's like the ruins of the old world that we can go and explore and and find things to build things with. But uh, there's us. We have this uh, boat man's gonna bring us into port, and we're gonna go find our workshop here in just a minute. Yes. All right, land ho. Good luck to you, uh, fisherman guy. Here is our new home. All right. Excellent. All right, we have Presley, the commissioner of the Portia. I don't know if it's Portia or Portia. I'm going to keep calling it Portia. Uh, Nook. Yes. Presley, how do you do? Good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barna Rock, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you your, to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Portia so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to walk around. Oops. So yeah, 3D Stardew Valley, basically. We're going to walk through the town. We've got, this is like, I guess, the, uh, this is the docks of the town. You can see we're leaving the docks right there. And we're going to head into uh, our workshop. Here is... Our workshop right now it's nothing really to be looking at but we can we can build it up we can we can build new uh well we can, we can just build it up fix make it look fancier looks homely i think now then here's a letter from your father he asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house look when you read this letter i'm already on the other side of the world i'm sorry about that i'm sorry i'm not able to be the father you do want this was all so sudden i don't didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you, then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I leave you with my workshop handbook that details how I worked my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You'll always be my pride and joy. Pa. Here's a workshop handbook. You have your paw. Take time. Uh, come to the Portia Portia Com uh, Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss, miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder's license right away, you'll need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Uh, space to jump. Uh, nope. Time for bed. Alright. First night. There's, there's a lot of loading screens, but the loading screens seem to be quick. So that's something. 
Uh, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well last night from all the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Yeah, my shop is a little bit, a little bit broken here. We have, we have holes in the ground. We got uh, windows like that go to the floor. And there's my bed. That's all I have in my house right now is my bed. Let's go outside. So our quest over there to the right, you can see is Meet Presley. First, we're gonna pull up a map though and kind of show off the land and and everything else. I shows our inventory, which we can't have like gear. Guess so this is all of our inventory stuff. Uh, M is our map. We can hit L to show up missions. This is basically just showing all this stuff up. So we've got inventory. We have skills. We have fighting, gathering, social, craft, farm, and ruins. We have no license at the moment. We have a handbook. This is the handbook that our dad just gave us. And this shows us how to make things. We have stone furnaces. We have wood cutters. We have basic skiver. What this is? Skivers. We have grills. We have uh, bridges we can make. Uh, we have our quests. Our quest is to go to the Commerce Guild and go say hey to Presley. Uh, we also have people that we can meet. The very Stardew Valley-like where we can meet folks. Uh, when we find someone that we like, we can we can pursue a relationship and actually marry that person. Here is our map. We are right here in our home. This is the main town. Presley's right here at the star. Uh, we've got the docks that we just came from down this way. We can make, mark things on the map, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Marks. Marks on the map. Then we have a calendar. It is the second day of the year, and we have things that happen every once in a while uh, throughout the year. Okay, enough of that, though. Let's go and find uh, old uh, Presley. First, we have mail, though, I suppose. Mailbox. We have a letter from Portia Times. Hello, news discovery. This is the Portia Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to uh, bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a weekly publication, so papers will be sent out on Mondays. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on Main Street. Portia Times. All right. Thanks, Portia Times. Now, there's a, this is definitely a gathering game, and almost like MMO style, where we're going to be running around and picking up lots and lots of rocks, and sticks, and uh, more rocks, and more sticks, and even more rocks. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots of rocks and sticks. We can eventually get uh, a hatchet, where we can come over here and we can hack these things down, which will make save us a little bit of time. But let's go over here and go say hey to Presley, because that is our job, our mission. So let's do that. We're going to sprint. Ooh, I see some sticks. I see some sticks. Let's pick up these sticks. Hello, cat. Hello, pinky. I can. Uh, I don't have any food to give you, so I can't. I, I can't give you any of this. I don't have any of this. So we can just say uh, hello, cat. Alright, so let's wander into the town square here. I'm not sure who this guy is. But we have we have some folks walking around here we can chat with, but first we're gonna go say hey to Presley at the Commerce Guild. And run on in here. And load screen. These little things kinda give you histories and all that that happens. Uh no, it's nice to see you. How are you settling in? I'm settling in very well. Great. Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild, where the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Portia branch. Branch, We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and a pickaxe and bring them to me. You'll need to have wood and stones to make these. You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Commerce Guild shop over there. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paw's old one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Alright, will do. Uh, this is sparkly, so we're going to check it out like the guard book. Oh, this is like our help book. Yeah, what are relics? What are builders? What, how many people are we getting? So now there's. So we are a builder. Uh, when we get done with this quest, we're going to become like some sort of licensed builder, and that's how we like make money. We'll get quests and things to to go and uh, make things, and then we get raided and all that. Uh, hey Antoine, how nice to have you join our guild, the Commerce Guild Guidebook. It's right here beside me. You should read that at least once. Yes? No, Antoine. And we can also come to the shop and we can buy things. We start with 20 gold. We can buy some wood, though, and, and rocks, which we're going to do because it's just going to save us some time. I'm going to buy, sure, five of those and five of those. I hit cancel, didn't I? Because this is going to save us a little bit of time. I'm trying to make things uh, not tedious and, and, uh, and uh, well, tedious. So we're going to buy those things and we're going to run over here back to our, our home. We could probably say hello to somebody, though. We should do that. Church of Light is the key religion in the world. So we've got... Hello, Higgins. Higgins, he's a builder as well. We're going to chat with him. Commissions, commissions. The more, the better. 
Uh, we can give him a gift if we wanted to. We can spar with him. Which we, uh, yes. We'll show this off. This is, this is strange. Um, I don't know how to explain it any better. It's just strange. <laughs> so we just pick people and we're like, hey, want to fight? And they're like, yeah, I'd love to. And then you just mass click. I don't think there's a whole lot to it. Like, there's no way of, like, you know, X, X, B, A. Or, there's, there's no, like, skill to it. You just run around and click the button a whole bunch. And you, you kick people. So, it's, um, it's, uh, it's unique, I guess. I don't know why. It doesn't seem to fit in with the game, but, oh well. Uh, let's punch some folks. These, uh, the developers, Path, Pathia Games, I think is what it was. They are the, oh, he beat me up. Uh, they are the developers of Planet Explorers. That was their first, uh, well, I don't know if it's first, but one of their games. And we can come over here, we can see that actually right here. Hello, there's no I'm the developer of this world. I like your feedback. What? Have I mean, anything you want? Yeah, email developers. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's go and build some things. Hey, Toady. Toady is our fisherman. We can chat with him. We're not going to spar with him. We can probably beat him up, though. So, uh, you can see over there on the horizon is a great place to fish. I used to fish there all day, and we still had a working boat. Go out that way. Mm, all right. I could do some fishing. All right, back home to go build some things. We're going to make... Um, we might actually have enough, material, enough materials for all of it. I'm not actually sure. So, we're going to go ahead here in front of our new uh, our work table. Dad's work table. We're going to see if we can make ourselves... We need to make an axe and a pickaxe. I don't think we have enough for both, but we can craft an axe. Okay, we need um, we need eight more. Oh no, no, we need one more wood, and we can make ourselves a pickaxe, which is what we need for our quest. So let's go chop something down. I do have on the bottom. You can see I have a health bar, and also I have a stamina bar. You can only do just like Stardew Valley. You can only have so you can do so much stuff with that star uh, that stamina thing. You get more when you eat things. It's very you know. Like how all these things work. And let's go ahead and make that pickaxe. Alright, there. I want one. Alright, pickaxe done. So now we need to go. Where's my quest? I think I need to go back to. Show them to Presley as part of the builder test. So I gotta go show him that I can build things. Alright, Presley! Well, I built things, Presley. We use that mine. There are mines that we can go down into with that pickaxe, and we can get gems and, and ores to craft things later on. I haven't put a lot of time in the game. Uh, I actually haven't made much past this point. Uh, where is that guy? Where is that guy? Where is he? Is he up there? Is that what those, those blips are? There's a, see a thing, the workshop rank. We can get ranked. I think it's once a month we get ranked on who the best workshop is, and we want it to be us. Excellent quality, nicely done. You keep, you can just keep them. I just wanted to see what you could do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You'll need to use those assembly station, use the assembly station in your yard, to complete this task. If I remember correctly, your paw kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, you can use use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. And that is right here. Um, where was it? Stone. There it is. Stone furnace. So we go up to the podium, like right here. This is our. This is our thing, and we can craft this. And this tells us what we need. We need a stone stool, which takes ten, ten stone, and we need a uh, just ten wood in general. And that'll make ourselves a stone furnace, which this is what this guy wants us to do. We start swinging our axe around here. What's this? Oh, new inventory things. Okay. All right. Jer mm, I can't jump over that. Oh, I want to jump over that. I can't, jump in, I can't jump inside at all. Oh, that's not cool. Alright. Back to go make ourselves a, uh, a furnace. There's different buildings and, and uh, offices and things in town. We can see that if we go to the map. Here. Everyone, there's like, what's this? Civil Core. There's the construction site, which you can upgrade things. We have Town Hall over here. We'll probably be there in just a minute. Round Table, I guess, is a place to eat. A food store. We have Clothing Store. We have Tools. We have Best Brother. I don't, don't know what that is. But yeah, there's all kinds of different things. We have the temple, we have some ruins in town we can go visit as well. Let's head back here and make our furnace, though. You know what? I want to win a fight. What's this? Who's this? Toby? Toady? Can I bring my axe? Better be careful. I show no mercy. I think I can beat this guy. When I played... When I was testing around with the game, I was able to beat him. It was close, but I was able to beat him up. There we go. There's some crits. 
If we beat him, we get we we steal his money. <laughs> so we just run around town. We're the new guy in town. We walk around. Actually, I might lose. We walk around town and we just start wailing on folks and taking their cash. That's the kind of guy we are in this town. Times are tough in the post-apocalyptic world. And it's just yeah, it's just mad click. Oh, I lost it <laughs> pretty bad. Never mind. <laughs> uh, he he likes us though. We're like best buds. You well, know, I mean. I would say best buds. We, we, we know of each other. What is that? Oh, I mean, we have sparred. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're very good. I can chat with you. Yeah, so I don't know if the, this is the fisherman guy. There he thinks. I can also give gifts if I want people to like me. Uh, where's the exit? There it is. Alright, excuse me, Toby. To to D. Whatever your name is. Alright, to the assembly station. And we're gonna make ourselves a stone furnace. Now, to do that, we need to put our 10 wood down, which we don't have. We also have to craft a... where is it? A stone stool with 10 stone, which we don't have. I don't have anything, do I? Alright, so let's go uh, do some scavenging here and see if we can find all of our stuff. Let's go do some some axing. I think this... does this give me wood? No, it won't give me a little bit, I guess. And strings? Hmm, Alright. So yeah, we're gonna wail away on this stuff. You can see our energy bar is getting a little bit low. It's uh, m what, midday, so we may not make it all day here with all this whacking we're gonna have to do. That is actually enough wood. We only need ten wood, so let's go get some stone. And I oh, hear some. I don't think I need. Yeah, I just need to gather it. We will need the pickaxe for this. We the pickaxe I think is for the mines. I believe there might be some bigger stones that we can we can whack onto. There's one right over here. Can I hit on you? Does that work? Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah, hit it. We need... I think we need ten of this. Oh, there's some copper in there. Alright. Oops. Oh, we have we have our ten. Okay, let's go build it. Before I run out of uh, energy. Let's go and make... This thing. We needed... What was it? Stone stool. Yeah, make that. Okay. One stone stool. And now we gotta go make this thing, a wooden trough. Right there, there's that. And stone stool's gonna go there. And there we go. We have a furnace. Which we can throw down right... Um, sure. There. Okay. Now, in order to do this, we can, like, if we go get stone, we can make bricks now. We can make cop. We can use our copper bars. Our copper ore. Three ore makes one copper bar. And uh, we use wood to refuel it. Okay. Done. Let's go say hey to, uh, old, uh, what's his face again? Anybody out here? Nope. Nobody's out here. All right, let's come over here. We'll go finish this, and then we'll go, we'll go run around and explore things. Kind of show off some of the game a bit, a bit more than rather just showing off the very beginning of the game. Alright, uh, what's his name? Percy? Perkins? What's his name? Pete? This guy. Well, I finished your task. Again, Presley, I was so close. Good job, you pass. Hey, thanks! This is your builder's license, congratulations. Now you just need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered, after which you can start taking reg regular commissions. Come back and talk to me after you're registered. Alright. So, back over here, we have a license. We gotta go to the mayor and uh, say hello and register our workshop so we can build things in town and sell them and make some cash. And he is right over here in the mayor's office. Town hall, I guess is what it is. Research center specializes in something. Wait, where is he? Where is this guy? Is he upstairs? Hello, mayor? Where is the? Where is he? They all. It's it like uh, just like Stardew Valley. They all have sort of a a path that they take. So he may not be around anymore because it's maybe he's at home. I mean, it is five o'clock. So who knows where that guy is? I don't know if I can pull him up. I can't pull him up on my map. So who knows? There is a star right there. Uh, that's in here though, right? That's where that's that's where that is pointing. Me? Yeah. So we need to go in there and register, but we can't because the mayor's not here. Hey, QQ. Where are you going? It's a 
fake door. So let's go run around town and just go meet some folks. Uh, hello, Isaac. I'm sorry I'm sipping on your stuff. Old Hermu who loves games of Cross 5. Let's chat. Time is life, so enjoy your time in Portia, and don't waste mine. Oh, yeah. Let's play a game. Oh, that was a go. Um, I don't remember how to play Go. Something like, something like this. I don't know. <laughs> like four in a row, maybe? Um, five in a row? Okay. Uh, maybe not, not... Oh, there we go. Okay. Five in a row and you win. Oh, that's okay. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. Sorry about the pickaxe I just put in your face. Uh, hey, Polly. Dude, Mara's second daughter. Molly and Dolly are out playing. I can take this chance to finish my homework in peace. Yeah, you sure can. Can I go in here? No, I can't. Let's do a little more exploring. We could go check out ruins real quick. We're at 20 minutes already, but but I want to show off these. Actually, I haven't been here yet. So let's go let's go run over here to the abandoned ruins. Uh, where is it? It's over. I'm a little turned around here. This is the main area. There's some ruins, right? I'm very turned around. Right behind the construction shop, which is, I think, over... I'm so turned around. Barbershop. Construction. It's right over here, right? I don't know. So you walk you walk in here and to this way. It's got to be over here somewhere. Some sort of a mine. Oh, I'm way over. How did I get over here? Oh, I'm so lost. Okay, so we're going to just follow straight here. And then we'll be there. <laughs> Bread. Um, hey, Petra. Scientist. If I had some money, I'd buy... People in church are so stubborn. Why shouldn't we use technology from the old world? They obviously can't make our lives more convenient. It really doesn't make any sense. Okay. Right. The shop appears to be closed. So, let's go and explore the mine just a little bit. We have a... Well, we don't have any, we don't have any energy. So we can't do any mining when we go in there anyway, so I guess we won't be doing that. Alright. Well, maybe we should explore a mine. Sorry, we can't run anymore either because we were running too much, wasting our energy. But it's bedtime anyway, so let's go back and go to bed. And... Oh, wait. We, there's a Toby in town, too? There's a Toby and a Toady? Student part-time adventurer, son of Martha. Here. Arlo just discovered some new ruins. He's so amazing. I'm going to just be like him just when I grow up. Mm -hmm. Arlo is like the town adventurer, I guess. Let's go back home. We'll go to bed and call it uh, a day. Is this the wrong one? Oh, I'm lost again. We're over here. We need to go back over this way. I saw these before. I don't know what they are. Mr. Ladybug. I, I can't talk to him. He sort of runs around and he's very terrifying looking. Extremely terrifying looking. No, no, Stan. I can't even pick that up. There's another one. Uh, hey, Mr. Ladybug. There's also a giant snails. This is what's in store for us in the post-apocalyptic world. Alright, so let's go back to... I think that's my house right there. We can fix those things up if we had extra wood, which we could maybe do now, but we don't have this stamina, so we probably can't. But all these, uh, these holes that are in our house, we could fix. Come back over here. And, uh, it's what? 8 o'clock? 9 o'clock? Time for bed? Sleep. Time for bed. Alright, thanks again for watching. Again, this is my time at Portia. My time at Portia, something like that. And, uh, there is a demo on Steam, which you can put a link, I'll put a link in the description, and you can check it out. And, uh, play, this is, this is what I'm playing. Uh, the, the, the demo. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.